ranking every Winter Olympics logo from worst to best. 21, 1948, since it's all black and white, this is very boring to me and there's not much to it anyway. It's just got a little sun that looks like it was drawn by a child since it's a smiley face. This one's pretty bad. 20, 2014, definitely more bright and colorful, but uh, this is not a logo. This is just letters and numbers. It's like they ran out of time to create a logo and just threw the location and date on there and the Olympic rings. 19, 1952, back again with the plain black and white that I don't like, but at least there's a tribute to the location with the building on there. 18, 1976. Now, Austria also hosted the games a few years prior to this one, and they used the exact same logo you see here, except the rings were colorful. So first of all, they made it worse by taking the color out, and second of all, no creativity because they used the exact same design. 17, 1980. Just not much going on with this one. A little bit boring, but I guess it does have kind of a wintry feel to it with the light blue color. 16, 1968, you've got a symbol to represent the location of the games as well as the Olympic rings, but I just do not like this color right here as the centerpiece of the logo. I don't think that works at all. 15, 1960, I like that it's colorful, but I just don't understand what the logo is supposed to be doing here. I don't like the fact that the triangles are like pointing in random weird directions. It looks like it kind of needs to be turned this way. I don't like this one. 14, 2002, you've got the snowflake to represent that it's the winter games, and then the colors kind of represent the location, so this one's decent. 13, 1984, a similar concept here, kind of with the snowflake, but orange is my favorite color, so I love that, so that's why it's one spot higher than the last one. 12, 1936, now it is black and white, which I've said I'm not a huge fan of, but for the time period, this one is excellent. The mountain is very well designed and represents the location of the games. 11, 1994, this logo is pretty cool and pays tribute to the location, and it's also got the Olympic rings down here, but what killed this one for me is this font could not be any more basic, so that's why it's not any higher. 10, 1964, we saw one like this earlier just with no color in the ring, so that's why this one's much higher than that one. It's decent, got a tribute to the location with the bridge down here, solid. 9, 1972, this one just encompasses everything about these games, the location with the Japanese flag, the winter kind of with the snowflake, and then obviously the Olympic rings on the bottom. This one's pretty good. 8, 1932, another one that perfectly encompasses everything about these Olympics. You've got the skier as the centerpiece, so you know it's the Winter Games. You've got the location starred on the map and then the rings on the bottom. Number 7 is 1956. This one is phenomenal for the time period. It's got a tribute to the location with the scenery, a tribute to the games with the rings, and the outer edges look like a snowflake to signify that these are the Winter Games. Number 6 is 2006. Just a really cool logo that definitely feels wintry, and I love the font that they use down below. Number five, 2018, it's super bright and colorful, which I love, and it also pays good tribute to South Korea by using the Korean symbols. Number four, 2010, another one that's bright and eye-popping, and it also represents the country well by having the athlete be in the shape of a traditional Canadian stone sculpture. Number three, 1988, this one is incredible for several reasons. First of all, it looks like both a maple leaf, which is a tribute to the host nation, as well as a snowflake, which represents that it's the Winter Games, and it also was designed using only the letter C. So every single line in this logo makes a letter C. That is so cool. Number two, 1998. I love how bright this one is, but it's also very well designed. It's in the shape of a flower to represent the host nation, and each petal of the flower looks like an athlete participating in a Winter Olympic sport. And number one, 1992. So many elements in this one perfectly represent the location of these games. First of all, you've got the flag of the region where the games were played in the shape of the Olympic flame. That is super creative. Then down below, you've got the colors of the France flag to represent the country. This one is excellent.